Good morning guys, welcome to the video. So I'm running, I'm not running late, I'm just running on time. Usually I run like 30 minutes early so I can get all the shots of me making breakfast and coffee and all that stuff for the vlog. But unfortunately, since I'm running a little bit on time, -er, um, you guys are just gonna have to trust that I made breakfast, I made coffee, it's all right here. I have a little simplified version since I didn't have all the time in the world this morning, just three eggs with some Cholula sauce, a couple of granola bars, and here's the coffee and the coffee art. I am seeing I'm seeing a guy stretch, do a hamstring stretch underneath an umbrella, if that makes sense at all. But anyway, I got about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna eat this, bring my coffee with me, finish up packing a little bit, and then we're gonna head down to Miami. Well, summer is definitely over in Connecticut now. Definitely heading into fall. It's freezing. It's been freezing in like the last week or so. Like wearing compression, long sleeves at training, tights at training, and it's only gonna get worse. But uh, I am really looking forward to the, the fall where all the leaves are changing colors up here. This will be my first New England fall. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for that at least. Yeah, you go faster when you slide. Yeah, I don't know about that. You do. Look. Go, keep going. Slide as much as I can. Watch out for that crab. <laughs> Always do. Watch out for the crab. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. I didn't know the water was poisonous. You in the water? Okay, you used the wrong word for that. <laughs> Deadly. Yeah. This is a terrible showing. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> this one is just never going to Oh, my friends it. are going to make fun of me. <laughs> yeah, All the kids on YouTube are going to think I'm stupid. They already do. Oh, my God. Okay, turn it on. <laughs> Put my bag in. Oh wow, that's good technique. That's great. That's great technique. Right. That's not bad. How are you feeling? Yeah, here, 11 hours of travel. I feel 12. Almost 12, man. <laughs> if you count the time you left your house. Hey, from the plane to the plane to Straight out. Part of, the, part of the job.
I mean, when you think about it, like... The hotel is about 15 minutes from here, Kyle. 15 minutes from yeah. here? Yeah. That's just my, uh, if I remember correctly. Kyle, I got a question for you. Would you take on $100,000 of debt if it meant that every single year for the rest of your life you get a vacation, all expenses paid for, for up to $10,000? Anywhere you want to go. You could change it every year. But you have to take on 100 k of debt right now. Yeah. You would take it. Definitely. Robin said no. <laughs> Bro, it's paying for itself, man. After 10 years? Paying for itself. All right, roommate reveal. New roommate this trip. We got Dren Dobruna. Yo. What's up, Dren? What up? Last one. Give me a little uh, little background about you. you. Alright, uh, just turned 18, left back from Waterbury CT, Yep. and I'm Albanian. Okay. That's it. Um, so we, it's been a very long travel day. I left my house at 7.45 in the morning, and we just got to the hotel right now. It's 9.30, so that is basically a 14-hour travel day. Um, we did the training session without coming to the hotel, but long day. And then it, as soon as we got to the hotel, we dropped off the bags, we got to, up to the uh, room, and they let us know that the water is not working in the hotel. So I don't know if we're actually going to end up staying here if there's no water. We might have to go find something else, or we'll see. I can't shower. We, you know, we can't do anything right now, so we might have to eat like this. We'll see. <laughs> Pizza will slap right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that pizza does look like it would slap. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, how many trophies do you have in Stumble Guys? Bro, I got zero. <laughs> you suck, man. I got, <laughs> I got three trophies. Bro, it's an off day today. I keep losing. I can't get past the first round. Have you ever played by yourself, or are you always in groups? I just, I'm just not good. I just always lose. I get to the end, and then um, you choke. Somebody pushes me off. Gotta pick it up, man. So we had dinner, it was like the classic dinner that we always have. Um, like pasta, some steaks, some chicken, fruit, some vegetables, and uh, like potatoes. Um, but we're still just waiting, it's like 10.30, we still don't have water. And I don't really want to go to bed before I shower. Apparently the water's going to come back in like 30 minutes. Um, we have a lot of water bottles that it's like, do we just pour the water bottles over us and shower with that? Or do we do trust the hotel and say that We'll just shower when the water comes back, hopefully in 30 minutes. So we're kind of in a little bit of a predicament, just chilling. Um, <laughs> we'll see. It's been a tough trip. You think the uh, water is going to be on by 11? Me? No. <laughs> I give it to maybe 12. Oh, I would honestly be lights out by now, asleep. Me too. It's terrible. We might have to go DIY. <laughs> Water bottles. All right, so it's 11.30 at night. A little bit later than I uh, usually go to bed before a game, but um, it's been a hectic day with delayed flights and not having water at the hotel and, and just you know a long, long day of travel. But uh, finally in bed, I've already turned off the lights. As soon as Dren gets out of the shower, he, as soon as he's ready for bed, I'm gonna turn off the lights and try to go to bed. Usually I try to have like lights out by like 10, 30, 11 the latest, but you know, it's not always perfect. And especially being a USL level player or whatever level you play at, I mean, stuff isn't gonna go perfectly every single day. And I think it's good to have your game day routines and your superstitions and all that stuff that helps you perform. But at the end of the day, if something happens, you have to be able to still switch on and play tomorrow and, and perform. I've seen a lot of players that need their game day routines or their superstitions and they need it to go well and if one thing doesn't work out or something's thrown into their day that throws off the routine, they're like a mental wreck for the game. So you need to be able to have that like adaptability to flow with, uh, with some challenges. All right, good morning, it's 9.45. In the morning, I slept fantastic last night. I think I got like 10 hours of sleep, maybe nine and a half hours of sleep. So, great. Uh, we were about ready to go down to breakfast. Then we have a little team meeting to go over the scout for Miami. And then uh, we also kind of talk about a little bit more about our lineup and, and our strategies and tactics for the game. And then we have the team walk and stretch where we basically walk and stretch. But we also do a little bit more 
dynamic movement band work just to activate the body up a little bit. So we'll be downstairs for the next hour or so. But uh, but yeah, good night of sleep. I'm in a much better mood than yesterday. So hopefully today will be a good day. How'd you sleep last night, Dredd? Very, very good. What was it, like 10 hours almost? Yeah. Why'd you set the alarm for 6 a.m. though? Oh, that was not me. (laughs) That was probably the front desk. At 6 a.m. our alarm just goes off, which sucked. But we both fell asleep right after. All right, let's go get some brekkie. All right, we've been hanging out, watched Prime all day. Now we're watching just NFL football. Um, but we were watching the Liverpool Tottenham game, which was a crazy game today. And uh, they had a pretty crazy call on Luis Diaz. Dren, do you think uh, Luis Diaz was onside or offside there? Onside, 100%. <laughs> the game was rigged. What do you think? <laughs> the game is rigged. What do you think of the uh, Premier League coming out and saying they made a mistake? I mean, uh, I don't really think it matters now. The game's done. Right. So they lost. Sucks, but they gotta do better. To be honest, yeah, it's just weird. It's gotta weird. It's what we're saying. It's weird how like if you're doing VAR, you think that it's hard to make a mistake like that. Like in the run of the play, sure you understand, but on VAR, you can pause it and look at it. It's weird that they just made a decision so quick. But anyway, I'm about ready to hop in the shower, do my little pregame routine, get all ready and freshen up for the game, and then we have a meeting in like 25 minutes, and then we head off to uh, the stadium. losing streak it has just been pitiful for them from pillar to post and i do think on the road here very difficult environment to play in with the turf with the humidity 69 goals against on the season a few days ago he was not pleased with the start against loose city midweek last week hoping his team can jump on the visitors here today quickly Turnover, and it is. Rebus has some space. That one off the crossbar. Unsuspecting was Dorchin, and Rebus almost caught him off guard completely. First break, sort of with the strike. That one goes off the crossbar, too. Got a couple goals now in the year. Here he is on service. Ooh, line drive. That one hits the iron unkind again. Schedule ahead of it. Do the hard part, and now at home, watch out here. Edwards, Paco Craig is there. Good hustle by Paco. He got taken out. That should result in a booking, and we see if it does. It looks like it. Edwards here in the 26th minute. Mm, Physicality here. Fine job of at least keeping these guys afloat. As admitted to us, he hasn't changed a whole heck of a lot. Just maybe the 
vocal messaging as McGuire comes out and makes a great stop against Edwards. Just so vertical, so direct with his willingness to run in behind. The bottle, the header, McGuire is there and says no. He forced Miami FC for someone else to produce. You see him come over once again. Nice move by Salazar. Looking to Rivas out wide. Rivas with some space. Joaquin pulls the trigger, but it goes right on goal to Dorsey. Lewis, Danny Barrera. Danny, that shot ricochets out. The rebound attempt. Jake McGuire with two hands on the denial. Positioning, you open up. Pulls on into the interior, just like this once again. Uh, sort of maybe thought about something else. Birmingham and Memphis are scoreless. Birmingham's the other team with 41 points in the Eastern Conference. Sordo giving chase. Christian trying to press. Nice play. Paco stepping up. Stanley looking at three players on the right hand side. Picture perfect. It's 1 0 thanks to Florian Below. Three two goal match. Below. Bolu trying to chase. He got taken out. Let's see if Pereira gets a yellow card here. He's a little hot, and he got one. Lynn from well outside. Cabral got in front of it. Pinballed around. Ooh, again, McGlynn trying to get to that ball first, and now we got back-to-back -back yellow cards. Sadie looking to do some damage. Prince on the delivery. That one glances off the crossbar. Wanted it, dude did not get it. A little hot about that. From well outside, that one finds the back of the net. Joaquin Rivas pulled the trigger and made no mistake about it in the 78th minute. And why not take a bow, Joaquin? Miami up 2 0. In the first half, and Miami FC didn't give up on the action. Stanley here. Stanley, who played it through nicely. Cabral is there. Open lane, that shot is airmailed. Sadie here. Prince pulls the trigger. Ooh, he was labeling that top left hand corner. It did not miss by much against Birmingham. And this thing is now a wrap. So Miami FC, they do exactly what they do here tonight by taking care of business and beating the team that they needed to beat. They have won three straight. They've captured nine straight points. So just getting back home right now, it is uh, 3.21 in the afternoon, so easier travel day than on Friday, but still it was, you know, nine hour travel day today, nine and a half hour travel day. Um, I didn't film much after the game just because I was pretty frustrated, pretty pissed off just with the result. Um, yeah, I uh, don't really know what to say. Like, it's just been, it's been frustrating. It just sucks. Like, it's... It's hard enough to go and, and travel and do all that, but then when you don't get rewarded with any points and you're just coming back with nothing, it's just it just kind of makes it worse. But uh, we have to power out these last two weeks of season. We have three more games. We have a game on Wednesday, so that's a quick turnaround again, focusing on RGV. Then we travel to Louisville, and then um, then we finish up the season with Tulsa at home. So hopefully, you know, we finish out stronger than we've been playing for the last few weeks and end the season on a on a good note. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be tough, those are good teams. I'm gonna end the video here though. I hope you guys enjoyed the away trip vlog even though it didn't go according to plan, but I still hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, peace.